Hi, my name is Marilyn and today we'll be unboxing the Aruba CX4100i ruggedized switch. The CX4100i series switches are purpose-built for operation in challenging environments such as warehouses, factories and installation in NEMA rated enclosures. The switch also supports an extended temperature range from minus 40 to 70 degrees Celsius. Let's get straight to the unboxing. Here, you have your startup guide and safety and compliance documentation. The 12-port 4100i model is a heavy and robust unit weighing just under 4 kilos. It's designed for fanless operation and is essentially built around a large passive heatsink. On the front, you have your 12 gigabit PoE ports. The first four ports support up to 60 watts of PoE output and the rest are all PoE Plus capable, supporting up to 30 watts per port. Please note that your total PoE budget will depend on the type of power supplies you install, the input voltage as well as the ambient temperature. Refer to this table to find out the maximum PoE budget based on the scenarios. The switch also has two SFP Plus ports. You can use the standard range of Aruba transceivers if your operating temperature is between 0 and 50 degrees Celsius. For operation in the extended temperature range, that is, below 0 or above 50 degrees Celsius, you should use the range of industrial grade transceivers from Aruba. Here is your grounding lock connector. Make sure the switch is properly grounded when performing your installation. The switch supports three alarm ports, two input and one output. These can be connected to third-party devices like doors and sensors for input and a bell or a light as output. And actions can be configured through the CLI. There are two console ports, your standard RJ45 serial connector, as well as a USB-C console port hidden behind a dust-proof cover. There is also an auxiliary USB-A port, which can be used to download and update the switch firmware. Use the LED mode button to toggle display modes of port LEDs. You can perform a switch reset by pressing and holding the reset button. You will need a pin to reach it in case you ever need to use it. The switch supports up to two external power supplies that need to be purchased separately. Here is an example of an AC power supply. You will need to use the supplied cable to connect it up to the switch. You will also need to cable in the power supply into your power source. There are two Kensington lock sockets one at the top and another one at the bottom. The switch comes with the DIN mounting kit pre-installed. You can purchase an optional DIN rail to 3RU 19-inch rack mount kit if you need to install this switch into a standard rack. And there you have it. For more information, check out the library at phoenixpro.club. If you found the video useful, please click like and subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. See you next time!